Am I really considering filming what I got for Christmas in my blanket hoodie? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness me, look at the state of me. But you know what? It's Boxing Day and this is <laughs> my OOTD. So that is how you've got me today. Apologies for the lack of makeup. Hello. Um, I am going to film this video now because it's the only chance that I've really got to do it and I want to, you know like after Christmas you want to put everything away and you want to just, I mean my, honestly I can't explain to you how messy my house is, I don't think it's ever been this messy ever. The only place that's tidy in my house is my bathroom, so my bathroom is now my happy place at the moment. But like I said, I just want to like put everything away, we've got the next couple of days at home. So, I come to you in one of my Christmas presents. This is from Dunelm. I know because Neil went to go and pick it up with me in the car and I just shut my eyes. It is a hoodie blanket. And honestly, I've never been happier to own something like this. I'm like, what do I look like? This is just honestly one of the best presents I've ever received. I will live in this. Um, it's massive. It's oversized. It comes to my knees. It's got a big pocket. And I love it. So, pocket looks like you sit there. Florence is getting over conjunctivitis. Yesterday was Christmas Day. Did I say I'm filming on Boxing Day? I don't know. Don't even know what the day is in itself. Anyway, is it Monday? I have no idea. But yeah, Florence had conjunctivitis on Christmas Day. Um, she's getting over a cold. <sighs> is what it is. So, <coughs> I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible. Um, because I talk for England. Do you really want to see what I got in my stocking? Probably. So I'm just going to really quickly run through it all. A radial hairbrush. What else did I get? Happy Hippo biscuits. Because they're my fave. Some razors. Bubble bath. Uh, Enchanted Escape and Midnight Orchid. You know me, if you're new to my channel, I like basic cheapy bits, so that's what the stocking is. I am sweating stocking. in this. Yeah, stocking, careful, that's my mum's stocking. Got some face masks and a foot pack, the one that doesn't destroy your feet. Festive friends. Stocking. Yeah, stocking, that's right. This, I'm causing more mess. Yes. That's right. Cotton pads, buttons. After eights, got a real thing for after eights this, this year. Yeah, a face mask. Uh, shower wash. Right there. Oh my goodness, I've got so much stuff. Deodorant. Bath salts. Let's have a look. I've got some good snacks this year. Caramel bar. I'd eat that in one sitting. So yeah. I. No, they're mum mums. Jelly babies. Babies. Babies, that's right. A hair tur oh, a hair turban and a foot file. I get them every year. I've never had a hair turban though, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. I got this, I've never had this before. A facial sponge. Looks really cool. Open. No, not opening them, they're mine. Mum mums. Yeah, you can have some Krispies. Yay! You're gonna get some for yay yays. Yeah. Good girl, that's really kind. Well done. I've got some coffee, fancy coffee. I normally only get like the $1.99 one from like Aldi or whatever. This is um Let's Cafe Zero Americano. I just like the tin. I'm very easily pleased. Is this a nice coffee? Let me know. Never used to be into coffee and then I had children and now it just gets me through life. Nail varnish remover. Do you want them ones? Okay. Can you get some for yay yays? Okay, don't then. There you are. Merry Christmas. Good girl. What else have we got? Another face mask thing. Smarties. A poof and dry and cracked foot softener. Still 
along with themes of trying to sort my feet out and some hand cream because I have very dry hands. So that is everything that I got in my stocking. I'm just going to shove it all back. Okay, where am I going to start off with? Um, from my auntie, I received a soap and glory gift set. Here comes Pete asking for some crisps. I want a packet of real crisps. Like, yes, that's fine. You can have a packet of real crisps. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you gonna go and watch telly? Go on then. Not this telly. Not this telly. In the sitting room. Good girl. As I was saying, I got a really nice gift bag, gift set from my auntie, which is from Soap and Glory. I actually really needed a new makeup bag. You don't want to? Are you going to come sit next to me then? No, not that telly. I'm filming a video. You need to come sit down. Come sit down and meet your crisps. There we are. That's not yours, but you can hold it. Um, so I've got a new makeup bag, anyway, which is something that I needed. And then inside is... I think it's like, yeah, it's a limited edition Christmas scent, Jingle Blooms, White Florals and Tonka. So we've got a little body wash. This smells lovely. I really, really like that. And then I also got a body butter, a body scrub and a face mask in there. So that is such a nice little gift. I absolutely love Soap and Glory, as you will see as the haul goes on. I don't like calling it a haul, but I don't know how else to word it, so... Never mind. Uh, what else did I get? From my auntie, she gave me money. My dad, it's in the car, and he was taking the car out. Um, okay. We got a new dinnerware set, because he was like, what do you want? And I said that we'd really just appreciate a new set of dinner plates, side plates, and bowls. So we got that, that was from John Lewis, and that's just in white, because I don't like what we've had, okay. and we've had ours for come up to 10 years now so we've got a really nice dinnerware set from my dad um from my mum i'm so excited by this i got the new pinch of nom cook comfort food yeah comfort food cookbook i love these cookbooks i couldn't recommend them enough it says 100 slimming satisfying recipes so a lot of people on slimming world use these I'm not on Slimming World. I don't follow any like slimming things at all. Probably should after how much food I've eaten over Christmas. Yay! But Yay! it hasn't died. <coughs> it has died. You are right. I need to put it on charge. Go. Go watch the telly. Dave's. Can you put Chip on for Florence? It's not. Okay, go watch Chip with, with Ye Ye's. Thank you. Crispy? Yeah, get your crispies. Good girl. Well done. I'll be with you in a minute. Um, I really recommend these books. I've got all... This is the fourth one. I've got them all. I think I received them last Christmas. And they have completely changed the way that I cook. I absolutely love them. They're so easy to follow recipes. Obviously, they are less calories than normal anyway. And they make me go out of my comfort zone, but not too much. Like, some of the recipes in here look insane. Um, let me try and find you one. Like this one. Bacon and leek mac and cheese. I just love the books. I love how they're set out. I love how it says, like, how many calories per serving. Bangers and mash pie. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for this. And I can't wait for the next one to come out. And I haven't even done this one yet. Creamy roasted red pepper and chicken pasta. Only 297 calories per serving. Just amazing. So I'm going to sit down later this week and go through this and tag all the ones that I want. But it, it looks insane. So my mum got me that and I'm so happy to receive that. It's one of my favourite presents. Is that really sad at 28? Um... Other things my mum got me. I was very confused when I saw this because I thought it was a mascara, but it's not. It's like an um, eyebrow epilate, epilator. So I don't have anything like that, but I thought that was really cool. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. You want chip on? I've got to go and put chip on. Hang on. Come on. Biff and Chip is on the telly. Oh, that program is going to give me nightmares. The amount of times that kid watches it is insane. 
Um, also from my mum, she got me some hand cream because I always need hand cream. You've just asked me to put the telly on. Why do you keep coming in here? Leave. That's my book. iPad. iPad needs to be charged. Doesn't work. Do you want to come and sit here? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about this. Yeah. I've just put it on the telly. Yeah. It's on the telly. Yeah. It's on the telly. Honestly, honestly, oh my god, I wonder why I've had an absolute breakdown this month. Bye! As I was saying, I've got some hand cream, the fizzy duck hand cream, wildflower meadow and woodland bluebell. Love that. Distribute that throughout the house because I always need that. And then she also gave me some money and stuff and a mug which I have used for my breakfast. I got some Baddy Das because everyone knows how much I love Baddy Das. This is the massive one, 750 mil. I just, it's such an old person smell. It just, oh no, don't come out. It just makes me feel calm. I don't know what it is, but if it's gonna make me feel calm, then I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna drink it by the bottle. You don't drink it, you put it in the bath. But I just, I love it. I just love that. So mum was very, very great, um, not grateful. She was very um, generous. And then, what else have I got? And then I think everything else is from Neil. So let's show you, let's show you these. Talking of mugs, I had a little bit of a wobble this year because Kath Kidston, you all know I'm a Kath fan. They didn't release their Christmas, they normally release it in like November time. And they didn't release these mugs until Black Friday. I think they, they released them really late. They staggered their Christmas drop this year. Oh, Neil's home, hello? You're home? I'm now filming my video. I thought you went to play football. Oh. Not taking any risks. Stocking. Stocking, that's right. Stocking. Yes, stocking. No, but Daddy got you. Neil's now home from playing football. How long have you been out? You've only been out an hour. I thought you said you were going to be out until lunch. Baby! Then eat some yummy cowpaw. As I was saying, so the Kath Kisten <coughs> mugs didn't get released until last minute. So I said to Neil, I was like, I need a Christmas mug. Can I have this one? So he got me this one for me on eBay. It's a used one, but it's a vintage. I think it's 2013 print, maybe 2014. And I absolutely absolutely love this it's very kitsch not like any that i have had before and i've just added it to the, the christmas mug collection which has expanded this year by five nothing to say on the matter and then they finally dropped their stanley mugs because again i'm very funny about my cat kids dins and i love a stanley and this is the Christmas mug of 2021. And it's not my normal style, but I actually really, really like it. It's very, very beautiful. We've got Christmas trees and deer and telephone boxes and little houses and stables. It's very, very sweet. So that was from Neil and the children, which I absolutely love. Oh, I just oh, get some air in here. I'm absolutely sweating. I need like air vents. Um, what else did I get? Two probably boring presents, but essential for me. A new SD card, 64 gig. Some of my SD cards, they just don't work. Like I'll film for a couple of minutes and then they just die. I lost my 32 gig and then the one that I'm filming on is the only one that I actually use. So I needed a new one. So I've got my 64 gig SD card. And I also really wanted and needed a pop socket. So he got this for me. Um, and it's a really nice one. Some of the like the cheaper ones don't necessarily go flat flat, whereas this one does, as you can see. Um, this is from B&M, it was a fiver, because I was with him when he bought it. So I got those. Uh, let's show you, I'm gonna show you my books. So you know what, this year, I don't know if you found it, I'm a big book lover, as you all know. I found it really hard this year to find books that I 
really really wanted because of how everything's gone in the last couple of years publication dates have been pushed back hardbacks have come out then paperbacks and it's all gone as i was saying i've found it really hard to find books that i really really wanted so i've only got three which again for me is very unlike me so i've got daisy jones and the six this is one that has been out for a very long time and i've just fallen in love with Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read Evelyn Hugo this year. I did a book talk on, on um, that book. And I've read some of her older works, but that Evelyn Hugo just hit a place. So I really wanted to read Daisy Jones. So I've got this one. I want Malibu Rising, but again, I'm not gonna read that until it comes out on paperback. So we've got that one. Then I got the new Sophie K, even though I know it's not the new one. This came out last year, but again, it came out in the hardback. So I wait until it comes out in paperback. This is Love Your Life, so I got that one. And then I started for the third time this year, throw, I literally started in December, Throne of Glass. So this is the, I'm not gonna read the blurb. This is the last book in a Throne of Glass. This is Kingdom of Ash and it is massive. It's just short of a thousand pages. So need to find room for that on my shelf, but I'm very, very happy to have that. When I eventually get to that, I do not know. I got some new shampoo and conditioner. Since having my hair dyed, my hairdresser told me to not use products with SLS in it. So these are SLS free and these smell insane. Faith in Nature, Grapefruit and Orange. They honestly, oh, they smell so good. So I got those. Hair theme. Again, my hairdresser said, I said, what's the best thing that I can do for my hair? And she said to use Moroccan oil. So I've got the mini one and it's made my hair so soft. The ends are quite dry, um, but she suggested getting Moroccan oil. So I asked Neil for it for Christmas. So I got this set, which is going to be really useful. That will probably last me a year. So it is quite expensive, but it also came with a body wash as well. I think this was like £30, so it is quite spenny, but a random present that I really wanted because Ellie had one and she said it was amazing is a water flosser. I don't floss my teeth. I don't have time for it. I barely have time to brush them, let alone floss them. So I wanted to give this a go. Um, Ellie's got one and she swears by it and she says that she can tell like the difference of, even though she's very hygienic, like me, I obviously brush my teeth. Um, she could notice the difference in her mouth instantly after she started using this. So, I really wanted one of those. So it's an electric water flosser. I'm getting old, aren't I? Being excited by this. So I've got that. And then, right, a couple more bits, and then I'm done. I've got a little gift set here. It's not a gift set, it's just a, an accumulation of soap and glory, pretty much. So I've got some soap and glory products. So we've got this one which is best washes uplifting we've then got cleaner colada love those i've got a body scrub scrub um, i've only ever had a mini one so we've got this one and it's in a scent that i've never smelt before oh no it's uplifting okay so it's part of that one i've got a hand food i've got the Lacura, which is aldi hot cloth cleanser in pineapple love that I've got a sleek contour kit, can you see that? And then I've got some Sainsbury's um, like oils for my diffuser. They very kindly gifted me a controller for my Nintendo. Leave the camera, which looks like this. Look, it's an Animal Crossing one, can you see? I absolutely love it. Um, I've got a play. little, yes, play. I've got a little attachment here and you've got a long cord and I can attach it to my switch light. I know that they're designated for playing it on the TV, but I just wanted it for my switch and I absolutely love it. And then to go alongside that, he also got me the download code for Happy Home Paradise, which I have downloaded and started playing. Mom. And I love it. I'm so excited to play that later. Once the children are in bed. Yes, you can smell it in a minute. So I've got that. And then finally, he very, very kindly got me some 
No, Lisa Muggs, high top, black converse. I absolutely love these. I've wanted these for, don't squeeze that. Don't. You did just smell it. Can you just eat your crisps? Go. Um, I, I wanted black converse, high top for probably about three or four years now and I'm so happy I've got them. I think they're really cool and I'm gonna have to wear them in but I, my white converse has lasted me, I've had them 10 years so they will last me a very long time. So that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you got, let me know what books you got, what books you are hoping to get in 2022. Let me know if you got Christmas money and what you're gonna spend it on. I got a little bit of Christmas money. I don't know what I'm gonna spend it on. Um, I got some jeans in the next sale, but well, that's about it. I don't really feel like I need any more clothes. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with all my presents. I think I did really well. And like always, this video is not me bragging at all. I just like sharing this stuff. I like watching them around Christmas and birthday times to get inspo for myself. Um, and you never know, some of this stuff might have gone down in the Boxing Day sales. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is gonna be the last video of mine for 2021 so i'm wishing you all a very happy new year i hope you've had a, as lovely a christmas as you can have with everything that's going on i'm praying that schools and everything open and everything is sort of continuing as is um thank you once again for all the love and the support throughout my content for this year alone it's been a very it's been the biggest year of my life if i'm being perfectly honest sort of having two children grow up together i know florence was born last year but this year particularly florence getting on her own two feet and being like a, a main part of the family now as opposed to the baby that's lying on the floor um and then having a breast reduction and just everything else that has happened it's and p being in year one like it's been a massive year for, for me um i've had a, quite a lot of struggles as well which you have seen in vlogmas um, but I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and the support. Um, I'll be back as soon as I can. Like I said, I'm going to take a month off. I really want to be back filming like my book content and stuff. And I know that it's not what everyone loves. And I know so much of you love the vlogs. But for me at the moment and my mental health, it's just going to be book top content. Um, and I hope that's okay. I'll be back vlogging when I feel like I can. <coughs> but for the moment... Just need to focus on this <laughs> um and then we'll just see where we go in the next coming year so thank you so much <coughs> i hope you all have a wonderful new year don't put pressure on yourself should i be talking to myself about that <laughs> but yeah i hope you all have a lovely time with your friends and with your family and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye